Hey, Caleb with Brownells here. Today we're going to be going over the installation of the International Barrels. Now the great thing about these barrels is that they're extremely easy to set up. Uh, the chamber's already been cut, they have a barrel nut installed on them, so no expensive tooling or anything like that's required because all the hard work has already been done. So these barrels here, they're available for the Remington 700s, the Savage Actions. They're also available for the Tikas, which we don't have here in front of us today. Uh, but today I'm going to go ahead and install one on the Savage Action. Let's get started. So we already have our Savage Action set up in the vise here. And like I said before, a great thing about this is that you don't need any expensive heavy uh, barrel vices or anything like that. Here I just have it set up in a basic vise. And I have my vise draws turned around so the aluminum side is facing the receiver. And this is going to give me a little bit sturdier platform for whenever I put that torque on the barrel, even though it doesn't take much. So I'm going to go ahead, take the barrel, take my recoil lug, slide that over the barrel shank, and I'm going to go ahead and get my barrel started into the receiver. And I have a go and a no-go headspace gauge here. I'm going to go ahead and take that go gauge, insert it into the chamber, and screw in, bring my bolt forward, and I'm going to be closing this gap, as I screw this barrel in, I'm closing on that headspace gauge. So I'm gonna go all the way until I feel the barrel contact the bolt face between that headspace gauge. That's it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this barrel nut down just snug, back off just a bit, snug down the rest of the way. And from here, we can go ahead and use our International Barrels barrel nut wrench and go ahead and torque this down. Slide it over the barrel. Now, this barrel nut isn't much different than a Savage barrel nut. Uh, we don't want to exceed 50 foot-pounds, so we'll come in just under that. From here, we're going to go ahead and check it with the no-go gauge after we remove this go gauge. And I'll also mention that whenever checking the headspace, I went ahead and removed that ejector uh, so that it doesn't cause any interference in the measurements having that extra material there between my bolt face and my headspace gauge. That's our go gauge there. And we'll insert our no-go gauge in the same fashion and the bolt should not close. And it just gets started but doesn't close, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and remove that no-go gauge. And that's all there is to it. Now, installing this barrel on the other actions, it's very similar for the Remington 700 and of course the Tika. You don't have to uh, worry about the recoil lug because it's built into the action. Um, but it installs the same way, same barrel nut, same barrel nut wrench. So all that we have left to do on this is reassemble this bolt, drop it in a stock, throw some optics on it, and we'll be ready to hit the range. 